Hello, and welcome to Blender Tips with Colin Levy, part two. First thing I want to show you is uh, the specials menu for lights. So duplicating a couple lights here, turning this one to spot, and going to make it buffer shadow. Now, to focus this light, uh, I would normally go into here and change the spot shape, and, you know, change the auto clip, and, but you can actually access these settings very quickly with the W key to go into the specials menu, so you can change the spot size, the blend, as you can see, if I rotate like this, clip start and clip end for shadows, and it's nice and handy, very fast. And it works best with buffer shadow lamps, but you can also change settings for all of them. So, uh, you notice if you hit the W key, this uh, last feature called Isolate Render Selection. So, I'm going to just pause right there. Actually, uh, we've just jumped forward in time, two weeks. I'm at home right now. Um, basically, I have to re-record the second part of this tutorial because actually Blender's functionality had changed. Um, so, I've got three lights here, and uh, now if you hit the Specials menu, um, you'll see that uh, this feature has been updated. Um, no longer do you have, uh, I forget what the terminology was, but you now have two uh, options here, Restrict Render Unselected and Clear All Restrict Render. Uh, confusing. So to see what this does, let's open up the Outliner and uh, set it to same types. So what it's going to do is everything in your uh, scene um, that's uh, the same type as what I, whatever you have selected will show up here. In this case, I've got a lamp selected, so all the lamps in the scene are going to be selected, or going to show up. Um, when I change the selection to this cube, you'll see all the meshes or the objects. Um, so here we go, we see three lamps here, and uh, basically these features here make it really quick and easy to uh, isolate um, one of them, uh, or, or several, to render. Um, a lot of times when you're working on really big, complex scenes with tons of lights all over the place, it's really important to be able to uh, very quickly know what each of your individual lights are doing and if there's for example a shatter buffer issue with one of your lamps and you don't know which one it is this is a, a quick way to sort of test um, so I've got this one light selected and I want to see this light in the render all by itself so by hitting W specials menu and going to restrict render unselected that's going to look at all of the objects of the same type and whatever isn't selected it's going to hide them from renderability so as you'll see, now this is the only one that has the render icon toggled on, and the other two lamps are off. Um, and to restore it, you can go now to the W menu, clear all, restrict, render. So everything of the same type will now be renderable. Um, and you can do this with multiple things, of course, and that will make this one toggle off. Now another related handy shortcut um, to hide um, objects that are selected from being renderable is Control H. So let's say you have 25 lamps all over the place and you want one of them to not render, um, sort of the inverse situation. You can just select it and with your mouse just over the 3D view, Control H, and you'll see in the outliner that the renderability icon is now off. Um, and you can use Control Alt H to bring it back. Um, but you can, in this case, if I go back to Control H, you could also just say clear all restrict render, and it just will bring it all back. And this is also useful for other things other than lights, but that's what the feature was implemented for. Um, and it's really, really handy. Use it a lot. Uh, and while we're here, one last thing. I want to show you this really cool feature that you probably know about, which is in the spot shape menu, or little toggle drop down, called show cone. So if you toggle that on, you can now see in the 3D view where your lights are hitting. And that is really useful to know. Um, a lot of times it's hard to visualize, so it's, it's just a really nice uh, little tool. Okay, see you in part three.